I, I, there's like a literal fan base of people that probably don't even know Ken from Smash. Dude, That's unbelievable. Ken was like, dude, Ken for a minute there, dude. He was like, he was kind of uh, he was like a hot stuff, celebrity. Dude, he was the popular guy. He was like <laughs> getting all. He was like getting the ladies. He was talking about how like he was feeling good and comfortable, dude. Kenny was <laughs> Kenny was out there. Like you thought grand finals <laughs> with him looked good versus like Bomb Soldier. Nah, dude. <laughs> go, go see Kenny and Gabon. <laughs> it's about it. Rectangle gang. Man, Zuppy on... I actually think he might be on box, but also... Zuppy like, is on box. He's on frame one. Okay. So Zuppy yeah. on box. Yeah. Wait, he... Oh, I thought you meant, like, box versus frame one. Okay, okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. That's a good question. I don't know. I, he might I, be I'm trying to guy. remember. He might have switched, but I mean, W definitely was playing on box. He's not like a, he didn't start with frame one, so he's on box. Okay, yeah. I'm trying to like, go through my laundry list of players that I know for sure. It's like Zealots on frame one, Secrets is on frame one, um, Tyler's on box, um, Pip Squeak is on frame one. Um, yeah, the frame one build quality is so nice. Yeah. Frame one heavy. I really want one. Not gonna lie. I have a box. I am Whittier, and MW is on box. Yeah. <laughs> yes. <laughs> you know, you know. Turn my box up. Oh, that's the little. That's the chic sad fair. It's like you constantly do it. You'll do it the first day you play the game, and you'll do it forever, and you'll always get punished for it. And each time it just hurts. The like jump fair to ledge. Every now and then it works, and it just baits you. It's just constantly getting yeah. baited. That's like the first adaptation you see, like, low-level players do at their locals. It's like, they run up to the ledge against a Sheik, and they just hold shield and wait for them yeah. to throw the shield. And you're just like, dude, I'm adapting. I'm reading this guy. The other one is, like, Sheik with full stack of needles needling ledge, and then they just, like, mm -hmm. eat the needles and shine them. <laughs> <laughs> oh, good grabs. Be big. But not much. Chief Flex definitely more of the uh the one shroom style of tech chasing and kind of throwing out some the dynasties and just lots of dash tags jflex loves a good dash tag tech yeah. chase dash tag I, I really don't think should be used for tech chasing until like around 56 percent. that's when you start getting like better pop-ups otherwise you can just kind of like hold down um Dash attack is also really good for oh! with punishing. Yeah, this is a big combo. Let's see if JFlex get down. Not really. Oh, Ooh, little you know, counter slap. Oh, okay, RTC. Oh wow! Oh, JFlex, three hands. Nice last stock, last hit. JFlex taking it. The one energy I ate in Apple McDaniel. That was one of that's one of my favorites. But that was in that was a good copy pasta. Stretching your hands needs to be normalized. I just I mean, yeah, people need to do it more. But I don't think I think people normalize is just I feel like kind of insinuates that when somebody stretches their hands, people are like, dude, what the hell are you doing? <laughs> you you're nervous, bro? You're nervous? Yeah, like, why are you stretching, dog? Box controllers need. There's um, I think they should be consistent with each other. Fucking aim assist. That's funny. Melee aim assist. Dude, I I need to try the panda controller. I, I'm like, it looked I don't know if I'm aim assist. like in terms of uh, they had a guy there like showing it off and mm -hmm. stuff, and mm -hmm. it wasn't like being played on, but it was like showing how the shell switch. They have like a. They call it like a pro shell, and it's a more ergonomic shell. It's a little bit bigger than the GameCube. It feels better. Um, yeah. You can easily switch out gates. Every like all you need is a screwdriver for the springs, and there's like 14 different levels of tension, so you can constantly like adjust your springs ju with just a Damn. screwdriver. It's really, it's really well thought out. They have nice um, cable locks that they design so that stuff doesn't rip out. You don't have to worry about your cord, and everything's very modular. Yeah, I, I did like how they added, like, the little, um, like, heck socket wrench or whatever that just stays in the controller. And then yeah. so you always have your little tool with you to, to do some, some maintenance if you need to. 
Yeah. Kind of cool. Jay Flex. Not now with a big tech chase, but wave dashing a little far on that one. See, great. That see, this is where dash attack is great. It's for the direct whip punishes on moves. But if you're just like trying to catch a fox land, I think boost grabbing and trying to grab it is better, and then holding like ASDIing down away um, in case you get hit or something like that. But for like direct whip punishes on moves, I think dash attack is super solid. And then I think catching landings, you're better off going for a grab. Ooh. Yeah, J Flex moving with some confidence and finally gets another grab here early. Will get the dash back, set himself up, but won't get the up smash for pick up. A little bit of repeat back airs, maybe a shine. Yes, sir. And up smash. Nice. That's clean up. Cool, calm, and collected. Two socks apiece. J Flex with a little bit of stacked up damage. Should be able to forward tilt with some decent um, effectiveness at this 40 to 50% mark. Back air set us up for an edge guard, trying to get a little bit more. Zabi made a pretty substantial comeback here, was down a stock, and now has a huge percentage lead. Oh, wow. If he would have gone for that shine, I think he would have gotten slapped. But going for the back air, he's able to beat it out. Oh, the J-Flex is not coming down. He came down. <laughs> <laughs> not without some percent. Right. I up smash right. will up take smash. it. Two stocks for Zuppy. So what's that? That's one one. Uh so where are we going? You're Mr. Sheik Man for your uh So they started J -Flex Battlefield. I mean I think if you're J Flex, you might you're probably for like knowing how he plays, I would say Yoshi's your fountain. Fountain mm -hmm. is a little cheesy and just weird. So if J Flex is more confident in his gameplay, I feel like he would go Yoshi's. Um, not necessarily if he's more confident. I don't want to insinuate if he goes Fountain, he's like trying to cheese or anything. But Fountain is just a less consistent stage. Oh yeah, wait, didn't they go Battlefield Game One? I was mistaken. It might have been I, no. I thought they went Battlefield Game One. I really did. Are they gentlemen? But maybe they did not. Um, so if I if if I had known that Battlefield was on the table, then 100% he would go into Battlefield. This is Sheik's best stage, bar none. Edge guarding is easier. Platforms are at amazing heights. There's great combo potential. Tech chases. It takes them pretty long to be able to DI to the platform, like a good percent, so you can do it for a while. They started Dreamland. Okay. That oh, that's sense. right. They did start Dreamland. What up, Sid? Um, Right, we got back air off ledge. J Flex will take first first blood here on Battlefield. As a commentator, I don't know if it's Mandela effect or something, but I don't know if I've ever for a single set in my life remembered what stage they played on game one when asked. I really don't <laughs> think I ever have. I think it's been a single time. No matter like how invested I am, I just <laughs> never known. Well what was the J Flex and um Swooper game one? I actually have no idea now I think about it. It might have been Dreamland. I think it was Dreamland. No, it was Yoshi's. It was Yoshi's. It was Yoshi's. Okay. It was Yoshi's. It was Yoshi's. All right. See? That's actually where I start against Samus's. Yoshi's, usually. All right. Hella scoops from J-Flex. Should take the stock here. Soft hit, though. Covers it with the down smash. Needs one more hit to seal it away. I and like J-Flex's edge guarding tree there. A lot of Sheiks, when there was that up B straight in the middle of the stage that Zeppi had, a lot of them would have just thrown the direct horizontal needle to hit him, but that would have opened up immediate side B for Zeppi. But instead, J-Flex grabbing ledge, going for the more consistent, had to use a couple more hits, but it was definitely the one that would guarantee a kill if done properly. Oh, J-Flex realizing he's a little late on the tech chase and spot dodge or roll or something is usually pretty common. So covering it with down smash and might net him a stock here. I, I swear that back air should have hit, but maybe just a little bit better spacing for the side oh of Oh my Zuppie. gosh, I think he caught the... Oh, he did not. I thought Ooh. that up caught the jump, but now the jump is gone. Double jab. Ooh, shine out a shield into wave dash of smash. Jab. It, it, it blows my mind that people can wave, can wave shine out a shield now. That, to me, like, back... 
on the come up, I always thought Wave Shine out of Shield was just the most task level stuff, but it's so standard now. People just talk about lefins all the time. Yeah. RTC for oh, the side of JFlex. That's two. Hit him with three. Edge guard with four. Ooh. Still going. And JFlex out here. Ooh. JFlex taking this, dude. Let's go. This is a uh, good set. I'm gonna be honest. Looking, just looking at their set count in the past, I really thought this was gonna Zuppy was gonna kind of be in in the lead or kind of setting the pace for these matches a lot more but j flex is playing really well mm -hmm. popping him how do you beat up teal on shield yeah um d i will give a little baby spoiler if you have not seen the 21 days of flex miss set between j flex and zuppy it was um it was game five i believe zuppy may have three stocked him twice on the games he won but it was last stock last hit Game five, which is one of the craziest endings to a set I've ever seen. And me um, I'm going to have to leave that up to the people to see who takes that home. But yeah, give you a little teaser there. Sure, I'm sure there's uh, socials and a YouTube and stuff for all sports. Make sure you check yeah. out your socials. Yeah. Yeah. All chat oh, esports, baby. There you go. There's there the YouTube. Is. Go peep that. Oh, my gosh. Stuff you get in the ledge. J-Flex. Oh, J-Flex catches the jump. Player getting a little powered up here. Playing for that bag as well. Oh, great DI from J-Flex. Barely squeaks. Oh! Wait a minute. Gets a Whoa! J-Flex so gets that... a bonus if he saves all chat's money by winning. So. <laughs> <laughs> it's a Christmas bonus. Yeah. Christmas bonus. You kept it in the org. Job. Kept it in house, baby. House always wins. Yeah. Like we think you think we're running these tournaments for y'all? <laughs> house always 21 wins. 21 days baby. of flexes, baby. Oh my gosh, that this weird interaction. Neither player really feeling comfortable with their ad trying to figure out what to be next. Maybe a Randall play? No. Ooh. Should have gone on Randall. Yeah. Love me some cloud play. Yeah, cloud play. <laughs> That's something in neutral. Oh, double down. Dreffin. Yeah. Dreffin, yeah. <laughs> Dude, unapologetically, Dreffin's probably my favorite melee player of all time. Yeah. I love Dreffin as well. Kirby Kaze might be mine. Oh, good trade for Zappy. Yeah, you're talking about Zuppy being dominant on the games he won. We're starting to see that a little bit more now on this Yoshi's game. Even though he lost the first stock, Zuppy has seemed to... All right, come backable, right come backable. Oh, grab. That's how it starts. All he needs is one grab. Great crouch cancel. Crouch kind of baby chase, the attack. baby. Yeah, I like that too. And JPlex said it's a little bit oh. harder way than he waited. So by showing that he wasn't crouched, it kind of baited Zuppy in to go uh -oh. get up attack more and then crouching where does it happen? I mean, stuck in the jab, probably going for a nair on shield, but... Oh, it's hurting for nair. Like the nair, a little profiling him, avoiding the hit hitbox. Oh, he's dead! Back. Thought he yep. might have had one more, one more kick left in him. Alright, game five. Big game one. Fiver, baby. See how loose is going. We got you know, I, Dawson, Slug, Swooper, and Poppy. I did say in the script that we were going to go game five. It's going to be last hit. Zuffy was going to get a phantom, and then JFlex is going to capitalize and win. This might so, happen. That's all I'm saying. That's all I'm saying. The, the script, the, the uh, half of my script might have been might have been true. Dude, it's, it's kind of, it's coming to fruition. All right. Fountain is the pick. Oh my gosh. The stage can be annoying for Sheik against Fox if the Fox is good at abusing it because you get times like this where now we're on FB. Um, and then also that top platform is so high that Fox can actually kind of abuse the top platform pretty hard. 
in this runway game. Right now we're playing on FD with like an extremely high top platform, <laughs> which is kind of like Fox. Two, first talk will go to Zuppy, and uh, J Flex just needs like one juicy F tilt or grab because just set up for a kill dash attack with the reverse. Not quite gonna be what he needs to give away the stock and juicy damage here for Zuppy. Oh, down smash covering it. Cross up there to take it. Three stocks apiece, ladies and gentlemen. Right, Nair through. I love when Sheik's Nair through like the the bulk of a side plat. It feels like it just basically covers everything. Oh, catching with the up tilt. That'd be the good DI on it, though. Two flex could net a stock here if he's feeling it. Ooh! Looks like he is right now. That short hop fair uh, coverage was kind of crazy. Yeah, I like that. All right, scoops him one more time with the Nair. Needs one more hit. Oh, nice short in there from Zuppy. Players kind of hovering underneath their respective platform. Oh, oh fast fell way too hard there. J Flex yeah. definitely going for the drop down rising Nair, but just fast fell way too far. These right, platforms make it harder to approach, especially like Sheet crouching underneath one. It's kind of an awkward place to like Nair into with the platform or jump at. Um, so both players kind of been using those. Oh my Neutral God. fountain would be so sick. I'm just gonna use this to spread a little bit of propaganda. We should we should freeze fountain, or make it start neutral. Even if it still changes, make it start neutral and have like a set pattern how it changes. Yeah, set pattern would be kind of nice. Oh. I got a little freeze on my end. Do you? Is that just my? Uh, I'm I'm good to go. Okay. All right. Uh, Zuppy needs. Oh, just gonna take it. 